Okay guys, so um, as you already know, we're going to be using Unreal Engine for the games development unit that we're going to be doing. So what the plan is, is I'm going to put together these kind of, I guess, tutorial videos um, for you to follow. Um, and you'll have kind of a, a project specification to go with um, to create your own um, individual game. So you won't all be doing the same thing. Okay, so um, hopefully by now you've already downloaded this is called the Epic Games Launcher that I've got open here um, from the Unreal Engine website. Um, you always have to run the engine through the launcher. Okay, so this is kind of what you'll get when you first load the launcher. Um, you might have some other options down the left-hand side, um, depending on you know how you've set it up. Um, but you'll definitely hopefully have Unreal Engine there as one of them. So you select that over here to Unreal Engine. Um, in the library here it will tell you um, what version of the engine you have. Um, I've got 4.24 but if you have a different one it really doesn't matter. Um, if you go up here and push plus you can download all different versions of the engine if you really wanted to. Um, depending on when you downloaded it you might have a different number but as I said it, it really doesn't matter. Um, it's going to be all be much the same. Um, Okay, so when that's done, you just come up here to launch and it will launch the actual Unreal Engine editor, um, depending on how fast your computer is. It might take a little while. Um, when you've done that, you'll get to this screen. So obviously you can create things for um, film and TV, architecture um, and games. So you select the games one, select next and you'll have a whole bunch of different things. These are the sort of preset templates. Um, if you want, you can go and sort of load up all the different ones and see what the templates are like for different types of games that you might be making. Essentially what they do is they already give you what you're almost certainly gonna need to start making um, one of these games to sort of save you time. Or if you really wanted, you could start with a blank one, but um, for our project, we're all going to be doing a uh, first person one. Okay, so that's the one I'm going to select. Gives you a little preview, but once you're happy, you just push next and you get some more options. Now, the first one's probably the most important one it's whether you're going to be using Blueprint scripting or C. Now, we have probably about, what, six weeks? Um, to finish this project, so it's probably going to be a bit ambitious for us to go and use C++ because uh, also it's not really mainly what this unit's about. It's not primarily about the programming. You know, you've already done a programming unit. Um, it's more about games development as a whole. So we're going to be using Blueprint um, scripting, which um, we'll eventually get to. That's how we're going to do all our interactivity. Um, depending on your computer quality at home, um, you know, you might not want to put it to maximum quality. Um, I'm going to have it on that. Um, I don't have an amazing high spec computer. It's probably almost about five years old now. So mine runs fine on maximum. So yours will probably be fine. Um, I am going to disable ray tracing though, because that might be a bit too far. Um, obviously we're developing for desktop. You can um, develop for mobile or tablet as well. Uh, we don't need that so we're just going to do desktop and then the last thing is this thing called starter content um, essentially it gives you some sort of pre-made content like materials and textures um, and a few models um, which is always nice to use the materials are particularly good and it saves us having to create our own so i'd recommend you do with starter content um, so we can make use of that okay obviously select where you want to save it to um, give it a name and then push create project. Okay, again, it might take a little while, depends how good your computer is, I suppose. Once it's loaded, this is the actual Unreal Engine editor. Okay, um, there's a lot going on, it can be quite confusing at first, but essentially, so. Uh, in the center, you've got your um, sort of level editor, I suppose. Um, to navigate around here, if you right click 
uh, and drag, you can kind of move or look around like this. Um, and navigating, to be honest, it takes some getting used to. But if you hold the right click and use the W A S D keys, like you kind of would for um, first person games and things, then you can move around and also sort of pan around at the same time um, in the level editor. Okay, but like I said, that takes some getting used to. You can up here change the camera speed if you think it's too fast or too slow. Um, four is generally pretty good though. Okay, um, and obviously if you want, you can just scroll your scroll wheel to zoom in and out. All right, but that's navigating around. On the left-hand side, you've got your panel of everything that you can add into the editor, um, which will sort of go through eventually. Most of this stuff we won't end up using, um, but there's plenty of stuff in there. Um, down the bottom, you've got your content browser, which is everything that you already have in your game already, um, which is organized into folders. Okay, and if you go to the starter content folder, um, you'll see all these folders here that we've got, all that pre-made content that we added in. Over the right hand side, you've got um, everything that's in the level at the moment. So when you load up a template, you see we've got this sort of basic level already made for us. Um, and you can see those cubes, for example, are all here. Um, it's just a quick way of selecting things if you know, you know it by name. Or if you've got a really big level that's got lots of stuff in it, uh, often you'll need to search for things to select it. Um, and then down here you've got all your um, sort of editing, um, whatever it might be you've got selected. So at the moment I've got like a box selected and these are all the things I can do to edit it. Okay. Um, and there's some other things along the top here, um, which we'll, we'll get to again, but I don't really need to touch many of these at the moment. The only one you might want to look at um, is the play button, all right? So this is how you can preview the actual gameplay of your game. So if I push play now, um, you'll see I appear in the game and I can move around. And what's there by default is like this little gun that you can shoot and obviously all the walking around mechanics are already in there for you. Okay, but other than that, that's about it. Okay, if you press the escape key, uh, you come back out of the play mode. All right, so that's the interface. Make sure you're happy um, with that and you get used to sort of navigating around. Um, if you want, you can come up here and go to new level to create a new one. Um, don't really need to do that though because we can just edit the one that we've got here. Um, so first thing you're gonna wanna do to kind of get used to adding content into the level, if you go to start a content, down the bottom you've got all your folders. One of them's called architecture and it's got some sort of random uh, walls and um, the walls with doors in and windows and things like that, which you can add in, all right? So if you literally just click and drag them in, um, you see I've added this one in, it's got a little archway in it. Um, you've got this, this little um, sort of axes here so you can move the objects along its individual axes. Okay, X, Y, and Z. Um, you've also got up here, so you've got the move, rotate, or scale tools. So if I wanted to rotate it, select rotate, see the axes change, and I could rotate that 90 degrees if I wanted to. And obviously scale, um, which would just stretch this object here. So I'm not really going to use that in this instance, but you've got move, rotate, and scale there. Okay, you'll notice that by default it kind of snaps, okay, which does make it easier when you're adding things and sort of connecting them together. But if you wanted to turn that off, um, that little grid button there will turn that off and it'll just smoothly move. Okay, so you know you might just want to sort of practice um, adding objects in. Add in another wall here. Um, just line these up. Okay. Um, if you want to add multiple objects, just Control C, Control V to copy and paste. And add in another one. 
Okay. Um, let's, let's create this little kind of room thing here. All right, so you can kind of play around with um, adding content into the game um, and moving things around because it does take some getting used to, as I said. Um, also in start content, another thing you might want to look at is the materials folder. Okay, I'll just push that button. Um, which has all the sort of preset materials in, which again are pretty useful. So I could just drop in like brick on each of those. Okay. And that material's all there for me. Okay. Might also want to add in um, like a light or something inside. Okay. And then here's that little room that I made. Okay, so just sort of for starters, make sure obviously you've downloaded everything, you can run the engine, um, you get used to the interface, get used to moving around, navigating, um, and just use that starter content to just, you know, make anything you like, just to get used to and familiarize yourself with um, moving around and navigating. All right, that's all for now.